Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Today we're going to try this. Full exterior from Fuller Brush Company. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. This is mostly what I want to clean because I am painting my railing. You can see I've scraped away all the the paint that's no longer sticking but now I want to paint so I have to clean it first so I'm hoping it gets all of this off but that's what I'm going after right now okay I have to go inside because even though this is attaches to your garden hose you apparently have to mix it with warm water so I'm gonna go inside and grab some warm water and we'll get this all mixed up okay it does foam up quite a bit so I would recommend putting the water in first before the crystals which I should have done I should have read the directions I didn't um, I'm going to leave you here on time lapse and we are going to, I'm going to start by washing the deck because this is the part that I actually want to clean today is to power wash this. So that's what we're going to test it on. Okay, honest opinion. Uh, Blue Dawn and the and the hose would have done just as good, but um, yeah, sure is stripping the color off my hose. I'm gonna let you see some close-ups, but it was awkward to use. So first of all, you have to put your thumb over this, or finger over this hole, but it's by the end. So once you figure out what hole you're supposed to put your finger over, it's awkward. My hand is cramping. Like I tried to move it to my left hand and I couldn't do it, but um, let, me, let me show you some close-ups. It didn't do much. Okay, so you can see dirt is still left behind. Um, this is just full on dirt. Like Don would have got that off. Don would have cleaned that. Uh, I don't know why that's still there. Well, let's check out. You, ugh, 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 ugh. Like seriously, a hose with some Don in the nozzle probably would have done better for that. But let's look at the stubborn dirt on the railing. Uh, didn't do anything. Didn't, didn't do anything. So there's, in the commercial you see super dramatic results and all this stuff would just like wash away. It doesn't. Nope. Still there. So I'm going to have to go get some Dawn and a scrub brush and take care of the situation. Sorry, I got my headphones on because it got noisy. Um, would I buy this again? Absolutely not. No. There, there was no benefit to it and it was expensive and there was shipping and oh, it was dripping on my head and uh it burns your skin and your lungs and I'm like well then what's the point let's get some dawn instead I'm just really disappointed fuller <sighs> okay so it's like a couple of days later but I just wanted to kind of wrap up the um fuller brush magic crystals or whatever the hell it's called I'm disappointed. I'm not going to lie because I, I mean, seriously, I've had my broom for about 20 plus years. It's longer than that. Probably about 28 years. I think I got it when Jeff and I first got married and that broom is amazing. I love the, <laughs> got to stick with the brushes fuller. I was really frustrated with this sprayer thing because you have to put your finger over the little hole to get the thing to spray the uh, I I was not impressed at all well you saw the results you can judge for yourself but I wasn't impressed I found it awkward to hold my finger on the hole while trying to spray <laughs> and I'm like gotta be a better way to do that right like an on off switch maybe you know spray because it's supposed to be, when you remove your finger, it rinses the soap. And when you have your finger over the hole, it goes through the soap and cleans the siding. 
I didn't think it was that good. You know, I didn't think the results were that devastating. Like, you know, I know as seen on TV stuff is usually overdone, right? You can barely ever believe anything, but you see him anyway. And you're like, take my money. You've convinced me. I think the reason why I fell for this one was, was it, it, it was because it was fuller brush. It's a name I trust, right? And I don't know, maybe I'm just old and a lot of, like a lot of the youngins probably don't even know what the Fuller Brush Company is. But like, I remember my grandma had the Fuller Brush broom and I bought one because she had one and she'd always had it since I was little, little, little. We always used that same broom. So I bought one when I got my own house and I have had that thing for 28 years. So I trusted the brand. And I think it's really disappointing when you trust a brand and then you get a product and it just kind of lets you down because they spent years building a reputation with people of offering quality products, right? So it's difficult for me when a brand that I trust for having quality products suddenly just goes... Anyway... That is my full review of how I felt about this product because aside from the fact that it didn't work very good at all, it was awkward to try and hold the hose and hold your finger over the, like, I'm trying to hold the hose and stick my finger. My fingers are not long, obviously. I'm a short girl. So it was not comfortable to try and hold the the hose, the spray like that, and then try and spray. And then I'm trying to like change hands because my hand's cramping up and it just didn't work. So aside from the fact that the product didn't work, the method you were supposed to use to deliver it to the siding was not functional. It just wasn't good. So there's, there, they need to tweak some things. Yeah. Number one is that the product should work. And then you know, the actual applicator needs to be something different, like an on off. So there was an off switch. I could shut the water off altogether so that it wasn't coming out, which was nice when I wanted to set it down. But something like that for, yes, I want suds. No, I don't want suds, you know, like a switch, not something where I have to try and hold it and extend one of my fingers over the top because my fingers are not long. Like, <laughs> They're not long. They're not piano player fingers. You know what I'm saying? These are stubby little sausages that don't cover the hole. So it was hard for me to hold it. And if you have any kind of difficulty with your hands at all, maybe arthritis or stuff like that, this would be a no. Would absolutely be a no. Because like I have the Hashimoto's, which makes my joints swell. And it was uncomfortable. My hands were cramping trying to hold this and hold my finger over it in this position and then spray back and forth. It's just a no. Nope. It's a no. So I appreciate you guys watching. I'm disappointed too. I'm sad when stuff doesn't work the way it's supposed to or the way they claim it does. And it's hard for me when that happens because I really want everything to work like they say it does. Like in my perfect world, Every single commercial would be accurate <laughs> and I would be buying millions of dollars worth. I'd be like, I'll buy it. It works. <laughs> I still buy it and they don't work. I never learn. I swear I never learn. But better I waste my money and you see the results. Um, obviously, it didn't work. You know, it didn't give me the dramatic results. Even the siding that was just not like the the deep down grimy dirty, which it says it's supposed to clean. Just the dirty dirty, just normal dirt that kind of blows up on the house and the smoke from all the fires and all that stuff. It's still there. Like it didn't go away. So, you know, I'm just going to have to get the scrub brushes out and scrub it down because that's the only way that actually works and actually blue dawn. Blue dawn. A little sprayer, like a garden sprayer works better because it gets all the greasy dirt off. So I'm going to just do that. Thanks for watching, everyone. Happy junkin'. Bye. 
Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.